You will not believe this guys, but I could not speak for the first four years of my life. And fast forward to today, uh, my entire job and career depends on me talking in front of the camera. It's very funny because first four years I did not speak. And then on my fourth birthday, my sister made me talk because my mother told her if Sharan doesn't talk, then there's no birthday. So somehow she made me talk on that birthday. And after that, there was no stopping. Something in me changed. I all of a sudden became this complete nerd. Started topping all of my classes from 4th standard to 10th standard. Like if I not, did not get 100 out of 100, uh, and especially the science subjects, I would be really, really mad. But then I entered 11th and 12th. My Aukath was then revealed to me that I'm not really that smart. And it was like a big, big uh, reality check for me. I thought I'll get into the top IITs, appeared for them, did not get in. Then I thought, okay, I'll try to get into the top state colleges, did not get in. Try to get into the IIMs. Guess what? That did not work out as well. Got a 98 percentile, but that doesn't matter for shit. So finally gave the GMAT a couple of times, got like a 730 and parallelly started doing finance with Sharon. Fast forward to today, uh, it's been one hell of a journey. And today we are finally in our very own office. Let me show you how it looks. So Sharon, few more minutes till you reach the office huh. and you have not seen the final look of the office. Yeah. So there must be some feeling inside you right now which you are trying to suppress to be like a macho man. So. Yeah, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Actually, the office yeah. also got delayed. We were supposed to move in three weeks back. Uh, so that extra frustration and extra anticipation is also there that two, three weeks office took longer time. And now finally, let's see how it looks. But what do you think? You have your own little cabin also in the office. Huh. Did you ever think you will be having your own like 10 member team to yeah. boss around? Yeah. You, I don't you know about 10 member team, but I knew I'll have a cabin. I believe in my brother. Raghav, your turn. Yeah, I think uh, this office is just a starting point. I think we are already feeling it's small. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our new office guys. Namaste, swagatam. Please come in. Please come in. As soon as you enter the office, you guys get to see this huge expanse. This is my favorite part. Second favorite part of the office. The most favorite part will come very soon. It's this, I mean, it's, it's a backlit logo right? with the gold plate. Let's move on to the receptionist. This is where, you know, important people in general who want to know how to invest their money. They'll come here, they'll be seated over here and a receptionist will guide them in. Simple. You see this guy? He's working. Hey, what are you working on, man? He's a product designer over here. All the app designs that you see over here, this guy does it. You see this guy over here with the cap? This cool looking guy. He's the head of R&D. He's the guy who researches new, new finance topics and makes all the amazing tools that you guys are using. What are you working on? Uh, we're working on the bootcamp. We're trying to make it better so that you know, people have a better experience going through the entire four weeks. Yeah. Now we're going to go to the favorite part of the office. Of course, it's my cabin. You guys ready? The first time I saw it, I was blown away. It's two days back I saw it, but let me show it to you guys. Boom shakalaka. How is this office? 
I told my interior designer I want Harvey Specter vibes and this is what I got. But yeah, this is where the action happens guys. This is where I sit. This comfy ass chair. Three years of non-stop working 9 to 7, you know, getting up at 5 in the morning, researching about videos, 9 to 7 working my ass off for KPMG and PWC. And after that from 7 to 10 again researching and then on weekends shooting videos, not going out, not partying, shooting videos. You do this every day for 500 days. You see how your life changes. These are some of the recognitions that YouTube gives you. Obviously, starting off with the silver play button, 100k subscribers, and within two months, this bad boy comes in. One million subscribers, golden play button, and yeah, there's a TV also over there to, of course, show the presentation, anything that we want to talk about. You know, six of us will be sitting over here. I have 11 freaking departments. Right, so 11 of them sitting over here and strategizing every Monday about what they're gonna do for the rest of the week on this TV. This is a secret door to our brand new studio space. How is that? This is the place where we will be doing our podcast. Your man will be sitting here and some of the most richest and successful people in this country and sometimes around the world will be sitting over there and we are going to be talking about money, business and entrepreneurship. The vibe of this room, I wanted to keep it like, you know, very uh, silent wealth. You know what I mean? Not like gaudy rich, you know, not like showing chandeliers and I mean, that's one subtle chandelier. You think this is a wall? Uh-uh, it's a secret trap door number two where we go into the makeup room. I don't need makeup, but yeah, sometimes we put. So this is the makeup room. We put all my clothes over here and a special bathroom just for me. Sometimes you cannot see us. <laughs> From the studio room, we once again go back to the office. Can you see this guy here? Third of the fourth employee. He started off, you know, working as a freelancer. And today he is the one who has built our app. That is the tech genius in the company. Did you expect all of this to happen? In like span, we met one year back. Yeah. And you're working from your bedroom and I was working in my bedroom yeah. and now we are here. What, is it? what do you feel? It's crazy. It's uh, super fast, uh, super exciting. I think all of us are in a rocket ship. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Keep pumping the fuel. Yeah. I'll see you. All right. Now that was one half of the office. The second half of the office, I'll show you now. This is where the magic happens. These are like, you know, the programmers not writing code but making high quality videos. Let me show you who these guys are. Come, I know they're now acting like they're working, but they're not, come. <laughs> so this guy, we call him Chief, for Chief Editor. It's been a year, right, since we've been working? Yeah, more than a year. More than a year, yeah, this 21, 22 year old guy. Yeah, I remember having, doing his interview, back then it was like five, six people. You know, he was negotiating on his income and all of that, right? He was like, Sharon, if you pay me so much, I'll give you 10x more of uh, the results. I didn't say that. <laughs> but yeah. And this boy here, yeah. he's the guy who's always, most of the time, he was the one guy who was behind the camera. Right now there's somebody else over there. I Very still remember busy. when uh, we spoke on call first and then yeah. you took a train from Surat. Yeah, Surat to huh. I came for the trial shoot huh. and then I was leaving at night. With the job offer? Yeah. yeah. And these are the new editors and we're adding more and more editors all the time. You want to say hi? So this is our sales team guys. These are the guys who bring money to the company. You want to say hi? Hi. This guy, you want to talk about this guy? He's the guy who's the operations guy. Anything that is breaking or spoiling in your experience of the one person club, it's this guy's fault. Right? Look at this face problem. Right? If any problem is happening in your experience as a one person club member, look for this guy. All the good experiences as well. Yeah, has the good experience as well. All right. And finally, we come to the most important employee. My sister, Shreya Hegde. You want to say something? No, I'm not impressed <laughs> This is the person who inspired me to start creating content in the first place. She's the one who's been with me from day one. Of course, we've had our ups and downs. So, you know, three, four times we would have said, you know, I'm not working with you, fuck off. You know, I'm leaving the company and all of that. But that's how it is, right? And I'll show you the last room, which is still a work in progress. This is the training room. Because as you know, we hire a lot of young people in our company. The average age is like 25. Most of these guys are Gen Z's. And you know, Gen Z's don't really like to work. Yeah, no? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see here, this is the TV that we have. Like, you know, one of those uh, smart boards that you had when you were in school, if you're in a fancy school, where you can write on the thing and explain. 
and all of us, you know, just sit over here. So anything that you can think of, we train our employees. And the last one, the telephone room. It's a, it's a special place where you get to talk to your girlfriend or boyfriend. Come here. All the dirty talk happens here. Come here. Come here. Somebody's even doing something. It's actually soundproof. Let's try it if it's soundproof. Come on. Hello. Hello, baby. What time are we meeting today? Where? We're not meeting. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. The boardroom, right? Where large groups of people come and discuss. Interesting discussion going on over there. See? See that? It's a partnerships guy. Closes very big partnerships. Works. That's our head of wealth management. I'll leave them in there. And then finally, my co-founder, this 24-year-old Gen Z boy who defies logic in terms of his intelligence and raw power, Raghav Gupta. Hello, hello. What's happening? In a meeting, in a meeting. What's up, guys? And I think this is just a start. This office is already feeling a bit small. <laughs> and we're thinking about which place to go next. This building has a couple of empty floors. 24 years old. Can you believe this? Lucky, I'm lucky to be working with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. As you just saw, this is a big, big freaking operation expanding faster and faster. None of this is possible without you guys. Everything that you see over here has been built with blood and sweat and also most importantly, your love. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't achieve something in your life. If you put your heart and soul and mind to it, anything is possible. On that note, guys, I'll see you in the next one.